Hello, we are friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We have come with another information that matter to us. Oju Zokano is dead, according to this video. And it will tell you the reason why he said Oju Zokano is dead. <laughs> of course, when we when we gave the news that uh, Ifa Nyoba was dead, people marveled. But when somebody that saved you when you were in trouble is in trouble and you couldn't save that person, not that you cannot save, but you are not willing to save that person, you are as well as dead. That is why we say Ojo Zakano is dead. <laughs> hey, God. It sounds strange, but there is reason and sense in what we just said. Mazda and the Kano ran it so round. You know, when Ojo Zakano was in trouble, speaking for Ojo Zakano and, uh, you know, making sure that he tells the Fulanis that, oh, say this guy is not alone whenever or whatever that happens to him, you will not go scot free. That's exactly what is needed now for Mazda and the Kano, but nowhere to be found. No one is willing to stand for Mazda and Kano. And that is why we say Ojo Zakano is dead i don't think it's not is an overstatement or whatever yes when you're supposed to speak and you mute your mouth that means you are dead that means you are not alive that's the truth and i want us to get more and more from this video as i leave this our brother to continue over to you my brother brought me here. The title is Ojo Zokalo Pied on top of another Adam. Yes. Why did I say so? Is Ojo Zokalo dead? Nahim no. Ojo Zokalo is dead. Do you know the reason why? This Mazen Namdekano that you are seeing when Ojo Zokalo was jailed pleaded for Ojo Zokalo to be released. Today where is Ojo Zokalo? Did you at all hear anything about Ojo Zokalo? So if he's not speaking up, he is dead. It is only the dead that does not speak. The living speaks. This man, a criminal, Ojo Zokalo, was the pioneer of PDP, was among the people that brought Obasanjo to power. He was the person who sold the biggest money, the biggest money, to establish PDP. And he was among the biggest that sponsored Obasanjo to power. PDP ran. They did not recognize this man. And yet, his brain did not tell him that you are not recognized in Nigeria. When it gets to an evil man turn, just because they view the a very good luck, Jonathan. I told you people, if you t t t uh, uh, like, say I am in job, they know you as Igbo. They saw a very good luck, Jonathan, as an Igbo man. They try to scatter everything. They use media propaganda and scattered everything. This man flee from the PDP that he built. From the PDP that he used his own wealth to build, he flee to APC in order to become boy boy for his investment not to be closed. He joined the APC. In the APC, he sponsored. He is among the biggest donor. Among the biggest donor, Buhari came to power. And within then, he was claiming, we are the people. We are the people that built APC. We are the people. I have a say. They first of all, knock him jail to tell him that you are nobody or you are an Igbo man. You are an Igbo man. You are nobody. Don't come here. Look at a house nigger dragging house with us. You are an Igbo man. When they knock him jail, he remained there. Nobody to help him. It was Mazen Nam Dekano that was shouting. Mazen Nam Dekano said, We need to have mercy on our brothers. I got no like, but for now, they must release him. 
they have released other criminals that they catch. It is not only Igbo man that will be there. No, they must release him. We started agitating for this Oko Oko to be released. Check for it, three years. Mazen Namdekano have knocked in DSS. We are Isojo Zokalo. Ojo Zokalo that Mazen Namdekano led the IPOB to protest about. Release him. And if he said, oh, if I speak out now, they will tag me IPOB. So why would you want to become in a country where you are not loved, in a country where you do everything to please them? Why can't you use that money and finance the Biafra struggle? Why can't you use the money and finance the Biafra struggle? If you are not loved in the country, why are you doing everything humanly possible to please them? Oh, I am a house nigger. Can they not do what you are doing? Oh, if I sponsor them now, tomorrow, my life is in danger. Who told you? We are Igbos. We are their friends. We fight the battle. Like their friends. And warriors fight like their friends. Instead, he decided to pick tent with our oppressors. Ojo Zakali is dead. If he is not dead, let him come out to speak that he is not dead. Ojo Zakali is dead on top of another man. Yes. Ebeha no na bohu tele moke ebeha. Any fine man ahono. Ewa yo kogara gano na one of the biggest hotel na abia state. Ya bia ngo na edo tele moke ebeha. If he is not dead, he should come out and speak. Why is he deaf and dumb during the time that Mazen Namdekani is spending his whole life in jail? Why is he deaf and dumb? He is dead. If he is not dead, he should come and speak otherwise. Please, disclaimer on this very platform. This very platform do not support violence of any type, shape, or form. But however, what we preach here is the gospel truth. What we preach on this very platform is the gospel truth of Elohim, Chukwokukabiyama, the creator of heaven and earth. For him and him alone, all glory and honor will be to. Please, breaking news, I heard that Jeff is dead. I heard that Jeff is dead. I said, anybody, any mouth that speak bad against Mazen Namdekano, we all buy I heard that Jeff O.K.K., the one that uh, the uh, DOS criminal, that uh, boy boy, a Jofo boy boy, was in the military van taking the army. Even one people's over, he was leading them to go and buy people. And on the way, Jeff was spied. If it is not the Jeff O.K.K., Get back to me. I just saw that in, in the update. Let me, I think that I should put, uh, put it, please. Okay, it is Jeff, okay, okay. This Jeff Okeke is a member of the criminal enterprise called DOS. He was the one fighting against Mazze Simon by saying, uh, why, must, uh, why must he, that uh, there are leadership, yes, and I have with the leadership, why must he? I do not agitate for violence here, please. But however, if you are there looking for innocent people to buy, one day they will buy you, and when they buy you, I will come here to announce to the people that you are tied. Stop looking for innocent people to buy. Freedom does not call for killing and does not call for spilling of blood. These and many more. These are the criminals uh, sharing voices on this and look at the demon. This demon, Jeff Okeke once said, he will come with 25 healers, filling with. Uh, 
possess demons in zoo military uniform to battle Biafra to battle Biafra Biafra liberation and every Umucheneke. Today we are saying how market the saboteur demon has gone to meet God for immediate quick judgment. Jeff Okeke. You understand? This is that uh, that same Jeff Okeke that I played his uh, his uh, what are they calling it? His voice rec of his voice this thing then. All of you remember now. Who is saying that uh, who, if Mazen Namdekano does not bring a Jewel back, he should rot in jail. Do you know what rot in jail means? And the same Jeff OKK, who went to give WhatsApp voice in their group that Mazen Namdekano should rot in jail, which means spy in jail. That is the same Jeff OKK fighting Simon Eba, saying on social media, saying that they are protecting structure for Mazen Nam Dekano, but in WhatsApp, secret WhatsApp that I extracted his voice from, he was calling for Mazen Nam Dekano to buy today. Almighty God have buyed him. He is spied. He have gone. May he so learn from his mistakes. Freedom doesn't call for any killing and doesn't call for any spilling of blood. But they that wants to spread the, uh, sp uh, uh, spread the blood of our own people, we always go for them. Please, somebody should help me and check Caterpillar. This one that they are quiet everywhere, have they all died? Because when you see them quiet, it means that they are died. This one that they are quiet, have they all died, please? Everybody should help me check on them, one after the other. When you see quiet like this, you know that that one is no longer. That one is no longer. Like Ojo uh, Zokalo. This is the so-called Ojo uh, Zokalo. Our leader started agitating. Release all Jose Carlo for us. Despite the fact that we know him as a sabo traitor. But our leader said, and our enemy, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. An enemy of my enemy is my friend. My enemy, in anybody that is an enemy to my enemy is my own friend. Though he have some unclean spirit, we started agitating. Today, Mazen Nam Dekano have not three years. We are saw Jose Kalo, he is not speaking. Why? They said, oh, if I speak now, they are going to tag me IPOB. Why are you afraid to speak in a country where if you speak, they will tag you something? Why can't you use that your money? Why do you want to be called a boy boy so that if you... Blue on top of an iron sharp net iron. Ebehana Charik Hana Rupu. Rupu Funtovaya Rupu Funtovaya. That is how he bide. If he have not bide, let him come out to speak. That I am alive. But guess what? He is not alive anywhere. There is no life. If he is alive, let him come out. These are the people that have embezzled the money that is meant for the people. And people are suffering. Tomorrow, one pastor will come and say, Oh, Jesus Carlo was a very good man. Because your pastors are now in business of praising senators. Chinike ya bohani iloku, one after the other. Okunhu, nanke ipa azwa, ihuru mandi pastor, ma abohuna onu nishi. If you, if you want to receive Jesus, you must have humanity in you in order to receive Jesus. If you want to receive the blessings of the ancestors, you must have the humanity in you. You must have humanity. Think about humanity first. 
otherwise nothing you are receiving nothing how can your pastors be now be blessing those who are embezzling public fund it is all Jose Carlo, the reason why we are suffering. It is all these criminal senators. That is the reason why we are suffering in this zoological republic. Check, for instance, what Mazen Namdekano have done to this Efulefu. And today, he decided to be deaf. He decided to be dumb. stakeholdership. Oh, I am a stakeholder. Chineke ya bo no kwen stakeholder. Okwa ya no de goeba. I am a stakeholder. Akam na no kwa onwere wona nkaku no ebo no neti. Bye sir ye. Na ye no nya bo na na sapata ata pilot. Bye sir ye. Bye sir ye. Bye sir ye ye lugini issue very soon. Why are you on social media shouting bye sir ye? Why can't you go in Biafra land and shout it? Chineke bo go kwen. The same way, oh, but Jeff, okay, go, go, you can see, boy, you can not touch it, okay. My kachukwa ha, but my dog. You can see, boy, go, go. The same way, oh, but Jeff, okay, go, go. You don't come to rubbish Biafra. Many people have come. You do not. You don't come to rubbish Biafra. Many people have contributed their lives, donated their lives to this very freedom. And it is not something that you use to make more clear. It is something that calls for urgent reasoning, urgent focus, for you to focus, concentrate. Concentration is top notch. That is what is needed right now. But are you doing it? Are you focusing your attention in the freedom that the people needed? If you are a bomb the business and issue, you gonna put your nas on here go. Ah, I'm a senator. I'm a yeku. You sat on the wheel of the people. Just like uh, the same way, if I knew ba, that uh, that uh, thunder fire on a London hotel sat on the people's wheel. He was recruiting, recruiting, recruiting non Igbo people to come and fight the Igbos. What are we saying? Give us freedom. I heard that one of your pastors said that he was a very good man, that he is not supposed to die. Chineke ye bitona upon the pastors on oko. I fear no fools. You know you, you are there decei deceiving yourself or that you are praying to God. We are asked your loyalty is for one pastor or the other. Chineke ya bohoku. Nanki bazwa. Unye joku ya kwerudo. Bright man mana koho geleneshi. Mm. True to God who made me and you. Eme apotasam. Hey, unya bana your matter if finish yena. If they reach the spiritual height that I have gotten, they will turn demon. I have gotten to is an extent in spirituality. If I need wealth, I will make it here in spirituality and not the, that nonsense. What I know, they don't know it. And some of you defending pastors, just come and see how your pastors are receiving power. I'm telling you the fact. Two days ago, Nkebiarabo, Nkebiarabo, Ogu, Ogu Church, Kobiarebo, Ogu Church, Kobiarebo from Nigeria. But when we go in there, boy, um, go to learn a guy, guy, maybe in church, on Ogu Church, Kobiarebo, Ogu Church. That was two days ago. For crowd, and I know that uh, very soon crowd the pool over there. He will be like, uh, "Oh, not my pastor! My pastor is holy." You will see people that will come and fight. May God have mercy. Let us focus our attention. Anybody standing as a stumbling block to this Biafra agitation? Chineke ya bonyok. It is only God who will bow. It is only Ekwensu, our Ekwensu, the war God, who will bow on your heart. And not me. And not me. I 
are you communicating? They decided to say, all of them that you see, they have no power to speak in Nigeria, but they have power to go to Abuja and tell them, hey, give me contract, I can bring Simon Eba back. It is only destruction that the Sokoto Caliphate will help you to destroy your own region. They little that they recognized Dio people was because of Mazen Namdekano who puts a danger. They were recognizing your people. Today, what is happening? If Mazen Namdekano is around, do you think that all these beberebes and all these uh, fun jazz will be on the internet saying, hey, Buon Ibo in Africa, clamoring for Ibos to be buyed? People that have no job, go and look at any via any Yoruba man on oh she can't Okay, Yoruba, go to Libya and see what they are doing. Go to London. London is useless today, courtesy of the Yorubas. They have no work. Oh, water. Everywhere that they are, they are looking for water. If you come and you are doing very fine, they will envy you. And we have these umokokos. They cannot speak for their own people. They cannot even go at the back. The same way the Yorubas are doing. This uh, Igbo must go. Don't you know that it is Tunumbu that was sponsoring it? If you doubt me, go and check that video and see where the wife said, don't worry. When we come in, we will show you people. We will deal with you people, Igbos. I hear you, Nate. Today, is it not happening? Are they not taking over your house? They are taking over your house, taking over your estate, taking over your properties in Lagos. Finally, sponsor, uh, clamoring for you to be buyed. And they said, oh, Tinumbu come out and say, oh, those people, the hand of the law will cut them. Today, have anyone been arrested? Are they still not doing it? But if it is, Igbo man is involved the next day, even if you do it in the internet, the next day, security agencies will be at your door, knocking. They will know your location immediately. But since it is them, they don't know their location. No arrest or whatsoever is being made up to today that I'm speaking. And we have uh, idiots like this sitting at the, uh, I am a senator, I am Ifanyo, but you make it one after the other. How can follow that idiot who deceived the people? Abaribe is one of the biggest, this, the equins to demon, Abaribe. Chineke ya unni no. All right, thank you very much for your time on this very good channel. Thank you, bro, Emmanuel Orimi Juice. You are wonderful. Yes, if they are silent, we refer to them that they are dead. Silence in this matter is not golden.